and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Today, I am going to be filming my going out New Year's Eve tutorial. And I do the quotation because I'm probably not gonna go anywhere, but I thought it'd be a good idea to just film as if I were going out tonight, what I would wear and what makeup look I would do plus hairstyle. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is this hair. What am I gonna do to my hair? So if you've been watching all my vlogs, you can see that I've had this ugly ponytail on my hair for the past probably three days, but um, I just didn't feel like doing anything to my hair. So, you know, I had a really ugly ponytail. But right now, based on the look that I'm going for, I'm gonna do a high sleek ponytail um, and I'm not that good at hair. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm, anyway, so I'm not gonna act like I'm a hairstylist, hairdresser or anything whatsoever. So this is how I do my ponytail. First, um, I straighten all the pieces that were kind of crazy, kind of, straggly all over the place and they had gotten like kind of poofy from you know me just sleeping with my hair in a ponytail every day so what I like to do is go to the middle portion of my hair and basically I take hair from the middle of my head and I take a brush and I brush it out like so. Let's do a little bit more towards the top. I bet this looks so crazy, but it's all gonna make sense in a little bit. So I take about this much hair and I take a little hair band or rubber band, whatever you have, and I go around like so and try not to get any of this other hair in this middle portion. So I go around until it's like a tight little ponytail, right? So like this and it can be ugly. It can look however you want it to look because obviously this isn't the final look. Then what I like to do is take, I'll take this larger one first, clips. These are my best friend, hair clips, because I have thin hair. I use these all the time. And what I do is I close the two in the middle and I leave the first one open. And I take that first clip and I clip it down like so, and then I wrap the rest of this around. I clip the other end in a different spot. So once it's wrapped around pretty tight, I take the other side and I clip it down like so. So you have this little ponytail. Then what I do next is I take another clip this one only has two, but you can use the one that has three. It doesn't really matter. So um, this one is already unclipped and I'm just gonna leave the other side unclipped as well. And I just go in and clip it down and wrap the other side around and I clip that down as well. So then you have this weird little ponytail in the middle of your hair. So then I like to take a brush and just go like so and pull all the rest of my hair up until I get a ponytail. Like so. So as you can see, um, this would be my ponytail if I just put the holder in right now. But since the rest of my hair, as you can see, my edges are like very frizzy and 
Like, I don't want to straighten them. I don't have a hot comb, so nothing's really going to get them straight. So what I like to do is take this Gorilla Snot, which is like so gross, like it looks so nasty. And you have to be careful with it because it's very slimy and it will get all over the place. I take this and I spread it. I'm not going to put it directly on my edges fully but I like to take it and spread it and put it around the back as well this into my ponytail but we're not gonna do the ponytail just yet just wait until we're done brushing all this in okay Okay, so then you take your ponytail holder, your second one, and you grab your hair up like so, and you put it in a tight ponytail. Obviously, this isn't the cutest ponytail. So I like to take some edge control, which doesn't just, like, edge control doesn't work on my natural hair. Um, like, my hair will be frizzy in about five minutes using edge control. So I have to use a combination of edge control and got to be glued. Um, sorry if my sure it's a little crazy so i use a combination of edge control and got to be glued so i like to do both and just go around my edges like so and just make sure you put a good amount of both all over your hair and some people don't like to use got to be on their got to be glued on their edges but to each his own. You can do whatever you want. I do it. It's my hair. I still got edges. So, um, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. So, what you can do is basically rub this in. Okay. So, basically, this is all rubbed in. So, I'm just gonna start to shape my edges a little bit more. little scarf on that I'll just kind of tuck the pieces in the back um, and now it's time for me to do my makeup I like to you know lay my edges down and keep them kind of like frozen in place um, based off of how I shape them so uh, I do this right after I'm done shaping my baby hairs and I'll just leave this on while I do my makeup and then take it off once I'm done. Okay, so now on to makeup. So I have a look in mind. Hopefully it turns out how I want it to, but we will see. And if you see me reaching, um, I have some makeup like kind of scattered. If you see me reaching, it's because I'm grabbing my makeup. But first things first, chapstick is always number one first thing that you put on before you start doing your makeup so by the time you're done and you're ready for your lip products your lips are ready so what I'm gonna do is basically prep my face and right now I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer this is in the original formula and honestly I don't even attempt to use other kinds of eyeshadow primer because it's just 
it's pointless. I always use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm just gonna rub that in on my eyes. And I like to go up towards my eyebrow as well and just spread it out all over. But anyway, this is the YSL primer that has a little glitter like shimmeries in it that I like to use sometimes. So I'm just gonna go in and rub this all over my face. So once I'm done with that, I like to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. Um, the brow is in dark brown and I always do my eyebrows first. I know some people say like, oh, do your foundation first, didn't do your eyebrows, like blah, blah, blah. Me personally, I don't like doing that. I like to do my eyebrows first and then I'll put my foundation around where I did my eyebrows up eyebrows at <laughs> because I feel like when I do my foundation first it washes out my microblading and then I don't have a great outline for how I need to do my eyebrows now if you have eyebrow hair naturally I mean that probably makes more sense to you to do your eyebrows last but since I don't and this is like mostly microblading I always do my eyebrows first And then I'm going to line it up or make it look cute with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Okay, so <laughs> I know my eyebrows probably look very crazy right now, which is fine. Um, like I said, I'm going to go in with this concealer and I'm going to line them up and make them look A1. Okay, so I went off camera just to finish doing my eyebrows because I didn't understand or realize how difficult it would be to do eyebrows on camera, but um, eyebrows are sis cousins, not twins, whatever the fuck the saying is. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but um, I normally don't even take this long to do my eyebrows because I don't do the whole outline, fix them up type thing um, unless I'm going out somewhere. Um, so I, I haven't been doing that for a while so I need to go off camera and take care of that. So next I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind in the color Caramel which I use just about every day. I'm on my second bottle in the past like month or two so I need to re-up because um, I like to use this for my everyday makeup look when I'm going to work so that's why it's so low and then I'm not sure if I've showed this before but every time I put my concealer on I take my um, NYX matte Finny matte and I spray it all over my face like so and then I take a beauty blender and I just dab that in so once that's done being blended out kind of decently like I'm not gonna pretend like I did the best job at blending that out but next for full coverage what I like to do is go on with my Kat Von D locket foundation and this is in the color 74 deep wow that just came out really weird and a little bit of this goes a long way so this is probably too much but we'll see and then I like to take my Marc Jacobs this is the tan Y480 shameless youth foundation and I like to pour that on here as well and then I like to take one of my brushes I'm just gonna actually Brush. I'm gonna go in with this foundation brush and mix it all up just a little bit and then I'm gonna apply this to my face. So 
So I know this looks kind of crazy right now and the Kat Von D foundation dries really fast. So whew, I'm just gonna spray some more of my finishing spray and take this beauty blender and since I use that foundation brush that um, kind of causes streaks, I like to go in with a beauty blender and basically tap out all those lines and just make sure that the foundation is pressed into my skin as much as possible so I can have that matte look that is evenly blended out like so and don't forget to hit the jawline I'm not gonna go down to my neck because I just don't like the way that looks. So right now I know this foundation looks like it's way darker than my neck, which it is because the Kat Von D is um, too dark, but the youth foundation kind of balances out that darkness. But what I like to do is take this um, lock, lock it. Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan. I use this and I highlight all the areas that I want to emphasize. So under the eye like so. And I like to do it in that triangle shape. But not go too wide. And then I put it on my nose. Um, I put a little bit here, a little bit here. And I'm not gonna put any down here, or do I want to? No, I'm not gonna put any on my jawline. I'm just gonna spread it out um, from my under eye, and then I'll use whatever left over on my jawline. So after that's done, I like to take my Sacha Buttercup Powder, which, which you've all heard me talk about before if you watched me do my makeup in any of my chit chat get ready with me's. Um, I'm going to use this Buttercup Powder and take the other side of this Beauty Blender, tap it in and just place that underneath my eyes and usually I like to melt the powder instead of um, bake the powder um, on a regular basis but since this is New Year's Eve and you know you gotta be a little extra we're gonna do some baking instead of the typical <coughs> instead of the typical melting process that I do when it's not something extra and I just want my makeup to turn out cute. So then I like to take it on that little bit of concealer that we added on the jawline and I like to just blend it out like so. Okay, so after this process starts taking place, I like to do my eyes so then that way any fallout from me doing my eyes will just um, fall onto the powder so um, I decided that I want to go for a black lid smoky eye color and then I'm going to do a pop of orange or whichever one of these colors probably this one pop of orange underneath the eyelid, I mean on the lower lid, and we'll see how this turns out because I'm not sure yet. This brown color here first, this is the, Mor the Morphe 3502 palette. I'm going to take the brown color up in here and just put it on my upper lid and blend it out. Okay, so next I'm going to take this really dark matte black color that's in this top corner and I'm 
basically going to create a wing using this angled brush that kind of looks like a pencil. I'm going to use this and I'm just going to create this V shape. Like so. And I'm just going to build up from there. of my eye look is done um, as you can see I kind of winged out the black eyeshadow um, just to make it look a little bit more dramatic so now we're going to take um, the original naked palette um, old faithful I like to call it but anyway we're going to go in with um, half baked as you can see, like I obviously use this and I've been using it for a while. We're gonna go in with half baked and pop that on the inner corner lower lid area. And I'm not even gonna go any further into this than about right here so it's all over the eyelid and just pack it on um sorry if you can hear all that noise in the background i think they're like doing trash pickup or something right now like i have no idea but it's the middle of the day so i think boo is getting ready right now to um go to the club because he's in Germany DJing um, he had I think he had two shows so far and he has one or he has two more so um, he has one tonight and I think one tomorrow night so he's getting ready for New Year's in Germany um, he was messaging me earlier but it's late at night there so pretty sure he's probably just getting dressed for tonight this upper eye portion for me is basically done um, I'm gonna blend it out some more and then go from there and see I want to blend it out some more and see what else I want to do and if I don't want to do anything else then I'm just gonna move on to the liner portion I'm using this NYX. Um, this is the Epic Ink Liner in black, and I've been using this for a little while now, and it works pretty decently. So I'm doing my liner a lot more dramatic than what I usually do because obviously it's New Year's Eve, you want it to be like, you know, the most over the top type look if that's what you're going for and that's exactly what I'm going for. So um, I did a very deep wing almost to match this black wing, which I will probably blend out a little bit more so they kind of like touch. Um, and then after that, I'm going to wipe all this off of my face and then do the bottom portion of my eyes okay so now that the liquid liner is basically done I'm gonna take this brush and I'm just going to wipe out all this powder on okay so I went off camera for a second because my camera was heating up way too much and also my battery is getting pretty low but I went and got my Lily Lashes and I ran out of Lash Duo, so I'm just gonna use this Strip Lash Adhesive by uh, Kiss. Um, it's okay, definitely not Lash Duo. I mean, it's cool because it comes with a brush, which makes things easier, but I don't know if I really like the formula of this. It's kinda too thin, if that makes any sense. So while I wait for, um, this glue to dry on this lash. I put a little bit of brown 
lip liner on and I'm just gonna take a uh, faux this is a lipstick by MAC that I've had for a while now and I'm gonna top it on top of this brown liner and kind of move it around until it looks you know how I want it to look which this is fine I'm gonna put this eyelash on And I don't have any special technique for how the eyelashes on, as you could just tell. Like, I literally just take my hand and just pop the lash on, and <laughs> that's it. So if you're looking for some sort of technique, don't, don't look for me. <laughs> or don't ask me for any sort of technique. So I'm just going to do the same thing with this other eyelash. Just put a generous amount of glue on it. Like this glue all over the place. Like so. And while this glue dries, I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 355 Coconut. Um, as you can see, I hit pan on it because I use this basically every day. I use this for my makeup, everyday makeup look. And I use this to set any other makeup looks that I'm doing so I'm just gonna take this and powder up my face like so so I'm so fast at putting on eyelashes because I'm just used to putting them on fairly quickly so um, I don't use any tweezers I feel like tweezers kind of just mess me up I've tried that technique before and honestly just using my fingers has worked out perfectly so now it's time to basically polish up everything. So I'm gonna take this brush I've used for the black earlier and I'm gonna blend this little liner out or shadow. So you can see on this eye, it's kind of dipping a little bit unlike this other side. So I'm just gonna tap into this Morphe Black again and just kind of round it out. Carbon Black. So I am back um, with a couple accessories. I have this choker that is the same color as my dress. And if you remember from a while back, I did a Carly by Belle Thomas Miss Guided lookbook. And this is one of the extra outfits. Um, but I've had this outfit for probably like two, three years now. And I just never wore it, but I love it. And I get so excited about it every year, but I just, don't go anywhere so I never get a chance to wear it um this is what my ponytail looks like um it's kind of crazy whoops so whenever I have like some of the residue from the got to be I'm gonna show you a trick so a trick from your childhood a lot of brown girls know about the brown gel um what I like to do is take some of the brown gel and just go over top of the got to be residue and basically it covers it up. So anyway, um, it came with this choker. So I just threw the choker on, which is too big for my neck, but I got a small neck, so we'll work with it. Um, I have these silver hoops on and yeah, this is basically like my makeup look. I was going to contour, but um, I don't think I am. Maybe I'll just contour my nose really fast and that's it. I just don't even want to get crazy with the contour um, because I feel like, sorry, I feel like this foundation that I'm wearing is already kind of on the dark side, even though I lighten it up just a tiny bit. And then with the choker, and then my crazy eyelashes and this dramatic eyeshadow. I'm feeling it. I feel like futuristic vibes and I'm ready for New Year's. So let's play some music. On some DMX shit, I group in my exes. I tell them they belong to me, that goes on for forever. And I think we just get closer when we're not together. You tell me that I'm confusing. 
more immature than Marcus Houston. So if you enjoyed watching this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you like more looks like this one, which is so dramatic, but if you like it, let me know. Um, if you want more, you know, foolproof hairstyles for me because I can't even really do hair, um, just let me know. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone has a blessed and epic new year. I look forward to 2019 and all of the blessings that come along with the new year. I am super excited and just ready, pumped. I got my resolutions, so let me know if you want me to make a video about that. And besides that, everyone have a happy new year. Bye. Start a conversation like that nobody but I 